Now what do we have here? That ghost ninja swag. <laughs> I'm on my way to work today. Usually I make my vlogs in the afternoon on the way home or during the day or something like that. So the morning vlogs are kind of like meh. Just because, you know when you get up in the morning and you're just like, oh, I'm just dragging my feet. But today I kind of, I, I kind of, shh, don't tell anyone, shh. You know, I'm kind of running a little late to work. I just kind of, I kind of dragged ass this morning. Yeah, I got my coffee, got some breakfast, and uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty damn good, you know. I'm on this beautiful, beautiful machine, and I'm talking to you guys, so look, it's fucking fantastic. Anyways, today I want to talk about some changes on YouTube. Not necessarily changes, and you may have heard of this, a lot of people are going off about this. Uh, some of the way bigger YouTubers, I'm talking about like people with 4 million, 5 million subscribers, those people are getting hit hard. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys in our community are probably seeing this as well. But, um, and, and maybe you've seen it and didn't know what happened. And so I just kind of wanted to open your eyes with this and, and just talk about some things that YouTube is now enforcing. So let's go ahead and get on that shit. So from everything I can gather, YouTube have, has had these policies in place, right, already for a while. They just haven't really enforced them, which they're starting to do now. And what, what we're talking about is they, they want to make ad-friendly videos. They want to put, you know, videos where their ads go in front and, and the ad, whoever's paying for them, you know, wants their ad in front of these types of videos. And so they call them ad-friendly videos, right? And what they're trying to avoid is having videos with a lot of foul language, you know, saying fuck this, fuck that, that kind of thing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, or like sexual content, or war, you know. Uh, and so a lot of people have been getting flagged for things that really shouldn't really be getting flagged for. So um, there's a lot of vloggers talking about things going on around the world, right? Like legit concerns. And their videos are getting flagged for this and what's happening is they're losing their monetiza monetization now I know it's not like the end of the world but you gotta understand like in terms of like bigger vloggers a lot of them make their living off of YouTube right and if YouTube starts just demonetizing videos and not and not even telling you about it and so that's the thing they're like disabling monetization on videos and they're not even telling you like there's no warning it just happens and you know, if, if you make your living off YouTube, that's a big deal. Like, that's a really big deal. And, like, I've, I've been watching a few videos, and I can put a link down below to a couple of videos where they're talking about their channel that have had this happen. I haven't had this happen. But then again, I don't live off of YouTube, so it wouldn't affect me in the same way that it affects someone that lives off YouTube. Like, for me, if I lose monetization on a video, you know, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't bug me. It doesn't really, like, I'm not like, oh no, I lost 10 cents, you know? It, does, it doesn't really matter to me. But for those, like I said, that do make a living off YouTube, this is pretty big. And it, it could make, I think, a really big change to YouTube, man. Um, so from what I can gather, right, from what I can gather, uh, it looks like it has to do with what you're putting in your tags. So when you're uploading a video, uh, if you're not a YouTuber, uh, when we upload videos, we put in and we fill out the description box. There's an option, there's a little box below called tags. And you put metadata in there. And Google uses this for, you know, search terms. So when you go into YouTube and you like, you search for motorcycle or motor vlogger or anything like that, a lot of that, the search terms come from the metadata in your videos. Google court, uh, like aggregates them and they do their magic with them. And they use them, but from the videos that have been flagged, what happens is, well, like they're talking about certain rape cases um, in colleges and things like that. Those videos were flagged because they put rape and rape content and this and that in, in the in the metadata. So it looks like you have to be very careful what you're putting into your metadata. You can't put controversial subjects or foul language in your metadata anymore because they're going to get flagged. It seems. Like, YouTube, like, a few people have reached out to YouTube, and they really haven't been providing much support, which really isn't anything new. 
So if, if you've been with YouTube for a while and, and uploading content, you probably know that like when your video or whatever your content gets hit with like a copyright infringement, even though it may not be copyright infringed and you reach out to them, it's a hassle to like get, you don't get a hold of anyone. It's all like automated emails and shit like that. I mean, this is stuff that like even MCMs, even if you work, if you, if you work with MCM, they're not able to do anything with this and they've been going like well there's nothing we can do you know <laughs> and so people are pissed because some people have joined these mcms and the mcm is like well there's nothing we can do and you and they're like well, wait a minute wait a minute you take some of my money to protect me and you're telling me there's nothing you can do <laughs> so i'd be pretty pissed too so um i don't know what is your what is your what is your thoughts on this of, of youtube really censoring right what you see because they want to make more ad friendly videos what if all of a sudden <laughs> what if all of a sudden every video that you watch on youtube is like some happy dancing around disney prince type video that shit would get annoying like i can't handle that uh, i got a police here Ooh, something happened oh man look at that that car got fucked up. I was going to cut down the side, too. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, that is a shitty morning. Yeah. So, yeah, what happened if you, like, come to YouTube and all of a sudden your background motos are gone and your Baker X Derricks are gone? All these guys that make this awesome content for you, Jake the Garden Snake. What if all these guys, you know, Red One and all these people that... They, they tend to make those videos that you enjoy that aren't so <laughs> I don't want to say like that aren't ad friendly but that are a little bit more vulgar right what about those videos that you guys enjoy watching um, even me like I don't think I make super like vulgar videos but I tend to cuss right and so what if they started saying nope any cuss word you know I mean people are going to start leaving um, already I saw today there's a place called VidMe I think it's called VidMe they are in beta testing monetization. So, I mean, YouTube better watch out because right now YouTube is really the only place for content creators to come make videos and get paid, right? But VidMe, like I said, uh, from this morning what I found, they're in beta testing this stuff. So, I mean, there's going to be other options here soon. And they actually made a video, which I'll put down below, um, talking about this whole situation. And they weren't really talking about it. It was kind of big F you to YouTube uh, about, you know, we're not censoring, be vulgar, cuss as much as you want, you know, that type of video. And I was like, man, that's pretty cool. I, I like their their stance on this. They're not really trying to censor anybody for this shit. So um, just, you know, food for thought. All right, guys, with that, make sure to leave your comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this topic and uh, what you think about YouTube and what they're doing. If they're doing uh, is right, if what they're doing is wrong, um, obviously they have the right to do so as it's their platform that they're allowing us to use. So there, there's nothing in that terms that, that you can say that's like, oh, this is illegal and blah, 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 because it isn't, right? Um, we're using their platform and that's the way it is. <laughs> we just got to put up with their terms of service. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think that what they're doing is right? Do you think that, that it's wrong? Do you think that they should be doing this? Whatever your thoughts are, leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that like button down there. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button over there. I'm sure there's a lot of good content I have on this channel that you can enjoy. Most certainly, check out some of the videos I put down here below. Uh, for your enjoyment, of course. <laughs> Until next time, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.